everyone, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you something that, well, I've never seen anyone use before. And I think it's really going to work out great for me. And what is it? It's a cufflink. Yep, think about it. So anyhow, let's get started and let me show you what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to also be honest with you right here. This project is nowhere near finished, but I was so excited about using the cufflink that I wanted to come on and jump in here and do a video. I've got a lot of things going on lately, and I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to stay up with my normal um, YouTube schedule. So I figured I needed to come on and do this one. I had been wanting to do a journal cover with packaging from Amazon for a while, and... I thought, wow, I never get this kind of packaging. I always get the bubbly plastic stuff, and I guess that would work, but I don't know. I wanted to get some of this. Well, I happened to get two of them. <laughs> so this way I can actually show you what my base is, and then we'll go from there. Anyway, I just did like normal, just matched it up. This one's not folded quite in half. I did trim off the top rag raggedy part um you know where you pull that little tab to open up the envelope so it's my journal is just going to be a one signature journal nothing fancy and um i'm going to use some digitals that were from antique papery got them upside down but these are some of the digitals that i want to use when i get to that point anyway so this is what this is and as you can see here's my cuff link so think about that I've got so much room I went on and added my little sorry silk tie and well now of course I don't want to twist but look I know this doesn't look very pretty because it's just all plain but one of these is going to go on the cover and, and it'll get there but this is just the basics so I wanted to show you how to do this and what I did to make sure that it stays popped out and what I did was first of all I cut some circles just from some hanging file folders you know those green and khaki ones that hang in the file drawers so I picked my spot now knowing I'm gonna bring this back in knowing that I am going to sew around this because what I've done again used upholstery fabric since I have tons of it for free um, I'm going to sew around this whole thing so it stays intact. Now, I did think about one thing. I could kind of leave this open if I wanted to. But since it's going to be my cover, I don't necessarily want any bulk. But wouldn't that be kind of a cool little hiding place? <laughs> so think about that. You may not want to cut, um, excuse me, sew across the top and leave yours with pockets. But anyway, I'm going to stitch around the whole thing when I get to that point. But what I had to consider was my sewing machine foot and the cuff link. It, is my foot going to fit in there? So I made sure that I scooched this over. Yeah, scooched is a word. I scooched this over as far as I could without it, of course, being in the journal, in the middle of the journal. So I, get, I guess maybe about a finger and a half width or a finger and three quarters. All right, so anyhow, so pick your spot, and let's say the spot is here. You're just going to glue down one of these on each side, all right? So you've got reinforcement. Then what you want to do is you want to take and get some, do the same file folders and do some reinforcements. And you're going to put that up on top of that, and it's going to be like this. Let me turn this over so maybe we can see it a little bit better, okay? So you're going to pick your spot, then you're going to punch your hole with your crocodile. I can go ahead and do that if I can, if, well, I better not because, because it's not glued down. I'll probably end up messing up. But when you put your hole on, you got it in the place you want it, you put your hole, then you're going to have your hole over on this side. That way then you can do the same thing here and your hole was already made, all right? So you've got reinforcement on both sides is basically what it boils down to, all right? Now, what you're going to do 
is you're going to take your cuff link and make it flat. You know what I mean. You're going to put the little do bobby. I don't know what that's actually called. So your cuff link is flat. Then you're going to take it and you're going to push it through there. And you might have to wiggle it a little bit. I was able to get mine through both of my reinforcements, or should I say all four reinforcements and the cover, without tearing it. You just kind of have to wiggle. Now, you know, if you have a really fat cuff link, I don't know that there is such a thing. Um, I have a variety of them, and none of them are really so fat that I thought I'd have a problem. Okay, so anyway... You're going to go ahead and push that through there. Then when you get it through your paper, you're going to go ahead and make it go flat. All right. Now, here's the part that I thought was pretty important. Once you get it flat, and now it's in your journal, so it's kind of, let's say it's like that. All right. You want to take it and push this all the way up on the inside cover. So this part is flat with this part. And then I took some Tyvek tape, which is very, very sticky. It'll never come off, but it's also very, very thin that you can't even tell in here that there's any Tyvek. Now, you can feel a little bit of a bump right there, but it, it, I mean, it's hardly noticeable. So you're going to take your cuff link now that it's, that it's popped through the journal and you're just going to take and put a piece of Tyvek across that. I probably used a piece like this. And then I did another one and kind of turned it a little bit. And that way it's going to hold. It's going to hold that cuff link forward. That then you have room to loop around it. So how about that idea? If you have any questions, please just shout out to me. I, I, I thought, like I said, it was pretty clever about the cuff link. I came across a bunch of cufflinks, as you can tell. I think, you know, maybe I paid $10 for all of them. It was a couple Ziploc bags. And um, I just didn't know what I was going to do, but I liked them. And then as I was walking around that store, to be honest with you, I had a flash and I knew exactly what I was going to do. I just had to wait for the envelopes. <laughs> no, I actually, I think you could probably do this on a hard cover as well. Just have your, just have your, um hole already made and and it'll be it'll go fast for you so anyway i appreciate you come back and visit me on facebook i also have an instagram twitter and pinterest and i do have a small etsy shop i just have a few things but please come back and check it out and let me know if you try this project or not i appreciate it see you down the road bye